Cool. Can everyone uh, hear me first off? I hate microphones on that, like really loud Australian who like just wants to blur stuff out. Um, so thanks uh, Eugene and Stephen. Obviously this is a great opportunity for us to be able to talk with people like you guys who are really passionate about what you're doing. Um, and this is just a little project that we're working on too. Today I'm going to introduce you to a guy by the name of Medeshegi. That's him there on the left, obviously that's me on the right. Uh, he's, part, he's been part of our community of carpoolers for about four months or so. Moved from India to San Jose uh, and, and works for Cisco down in San Jose. Uh, when he moved here, he didn't know much about San Jose, San Francisco Bay Area, Cisco at all, right? Um, and what's cool about it is when he moved from, from Indy, he actually didn't even know how to get to work. Uh, so when Medeshedi started at Cisco, he started over four, uh, just over four months ago, he was trying to find a great way to get to work. Now, to give you a bit of a background of who I am and what we do, uh, Scoop's a fully flexible carpooling app. And what we do is we partner with companies in the Bay Area to offer a our fully flexible carpooling app uh, to their employees. And what we do is we work with partners to be able to market it to their employees and get them from home to work and back again. So the app is super, super simple. All you need to do is schedule to be a rider, a driver, or either. The rider shares the commute cost with the driver. Uh, and basically how it works is it works with the commute hours. So you schedule by 9 p.m. the night before uh, for the morning trips and then 3.30 that day uh, for the afternoon trips. We know what time, uh, where you live because you put in your home and your work address when you register in the app. And what's great about it is that you can schedule for one time or multiple times that you can leave in the afternoon or in the morning. What our app does is that we look for people in your area to do the most efficient carpool to work or home and back again. And what's cool about it is not only do you get to be able to meet awesome people in the app, you're saving the environment, you're saving time on the road because you get to use obviously the HOV lane, and you'll also be able to save uh, money as well considering that the rider shares the commute cost with the driver. Now, a lot of people ask me, is it the same as Uber? It's very different. What's cool about it is that what we're doing is we're actually matching co-workers together because they're going the same way to work. So, here, the, the cool story, why I bring up Medeshedi, well, Medeshedi scheduled Medeshedi his first trip four months ago when he started at Cisco, and got matched with a car, in a carpool with a guy by the name of Paul. Now, Paul's been working for Cisco, this is a true story, I promise. Paul scheduled uh, his trip and has been using Scoop for a little bit longer, but has been working for Cisco for over 10 months, about 10 years now. Now, when, as I said before, Medeshedi didn't know anyone, he didn't know the HR systems, he didn't even know where to go for lunch. What was cool about it is that Paul actually worked in the same office block, actually the same level in the office block, and if you know Cisco down in San Jose, they have over 25,000 employees down in the San Jose area. Now, what's cool about it is, because Medeshedi got matched with Paul, Paul basically taught him everything that he knew about Cisco, the good and the bad sometimes. But what was great about it is that he actually made a friend. And every week now they go and have lunch together, they, uh, they now have a group of other carpoolers that they get together and they talk about sometimes the bad traffic that happens in San Jose, which you think might say, I live in San Jose here, by any chance I work in San Jose? No? Wow, okay, interesting. A couple of people. So you know what the traffic's like down there. Uh, what's great about it is he's made a great friend and he's made a connection in his work that he probably would have never been able to do before. You see, when we launched over nine, nine months ago, we've been doing trips in and out of four different markets in, in the San Francisco Bay Area. We, we look after San Jose, Pleasanton, um, uh, San Francisco, and then we just launched Palo Alto just a couple of weeks ago. And we're going to be launching Sunnyvale in the next two weeks. So if you work in Sunnyvale, you can not be one of them. That's definitely one of them to be able to do that. The cool thing about it is that we're not just a car, we're not just a place where you save time or money or the environment. We're actually creating these incredible connections within, within these workplaces. We save nearly 350,000 miles for riders, and we've also saved nearly 300,000 pounds of CO2 for the environment too. 
and seeing close to about 20,000 requests per month. So we're growing and growing every day. Mentioning is just one example of the thousands of, thousands of commuters that literally drive by themselves every day and wanted to change their commute. Um, I urge you guys to check it out. It's on the App Store. We're called Scoop. If you type in Take Scoop in the App Store, you'll be able to see it. Um, but yeah, definitely come up to me if you've got any questions or anything like that. But it's, uh, I've been working there for now uh, just over nine months. I'm really excited to be able to offer it to the rest of the Bay Area really, really soon. So that's my like two what, four minutes already or five minutes already. Wow. That's the issue I think just talks too much. But yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> So, what is your revenue model? It's interesting. So, basically, how we work is like I said, the rider share that can be cost with the driver, right? So, when you schedule to be a rider, the rider pays the driver through the app, right? So, why do you put in your, uh, your credit card details as a driver? You put in your bank account details. How it works is let's say you're going from, I don't know, Fremont to San Jose, one of our most popular routes. Uh, how it works is, let's say it's six dollars for the trip, which it roughly is around that. It's to do with miles, right? Let's say it's five dollars. The rider pays five dollars. The driver gets four dollars, and we take a one dollar admin fee. And it's pretty flat across the board. What we do is we partner with companies to offer it to their employees, and what happens in the end is they start to sponsor some of those rides as well. So Cisco, for instance, has been able to help us out with this. And what happens in the end is that you start to get really cheap rides for a lot of their employees, so it looks good on their behalf as well. So hopefully that answers your question now. Sorry, yeah. So I'm from Palo Alto. Uh, Palo Alto looked at all the ride sharing companies and selected Scoop. Well, the reason Palo Alto selected is because we have 95,000 commuters that come into the city every day. And we wanted to do it to reduce traffic and also to reduce single car trips, which are one of the top contributors to global greenhouse gases. Yeah. We're really excited about these guys. I guess my question for you is, which cities and companies are at the top of your target list that you like your reductions in? Because there might be somebody here who can help you. Definitely, out. definitely. So like I said before, uh, Sunnyvale is on our next kind of launch list. Uh, so we're, we, we basically try and most, we're, we're focusing on the Moffat Park business district, which is quite a few different businesses that are in that area. The way we look at it is that we work on mass numbers, right? And that's with pretty much any carpooling company that does that. Um, so the bigger the company, funny enough, the better the experience is for all of our, our community members as well. So any companies that are from 300 employees or above, that's really what we're looking at. Um, and the reason that we do that, again, is just for the mass numbers. But thanks so much for the, for the talk, I really appreciate it. 80% of people that drive to work drive by themselves, and it's a huge problem in America, so that's what we're trying to fix. Any other questions? What kind of marketing initiatives do you have? Social media or whatever? Really good question. Um, so we do a little bit of social, but it's actually not, most of our marketing is done within the employees themselves. Like I said, there's a partnership with the employer. So what we do is we say that you don't have to spend any money, you don't need to do anything to do with your HR plan. All you need to do is be able to market it to your employees. And by sending an email, we do table events to employees as well to teach them about the product. Um, but our social is actually very, very small in comparison to the, the work that we do at employer partners. So you have you used the social media? Message. Yes, we have. We have used Facebook and Twitter and all those. We use it more as a way to share what we're doing within the company. Um, like I talked about the ambassador program that Med Shitty is about, we actually share a lot of great stories through that too, and it's a great way to get the word out. Sorry. Yeah. Lyft has been heavily advertised in the Carnival feature. How do you differ from Lyft and how do you? How do you, how do you uh, address the, the, that problem? And if you repeat the question so everybody else can hear Yeah, answer. definitely, definitely. So the question was, how do we differentiate from Lyft pretty much? And what? Well, 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 Lyft, has, Lyft has been specifically advertising the uh, carpool feature. Correct. Yeah, so, so basically the difference of how we work is, well, let me, let me start again. The way we talk about competition is really the people that are going to win in this competition are the, way, are the people or the company that really changes the mind frame of drivers, right? If you think about it, like I said before, 80% of drivers drive by themselves. If you change the mind frame of someone when they wake up in the morning and instead of getting their car by themselves, they're saying, you know what? 
I'm actually going to go out of my way and fly to get to pick someone up, get them in the car, I'll be able to save on the time and environment. That's really what we're trying to do. To answer your question around Lyft specifically, what we're doing is that because we're partnering with companies, we get this incredible bond with our community. And what I wanted to show you there to share you is that this is just one of those stories, right? And it's really around the co-workers carpooling together. It's that you meet Jane from accounting that you've never met before, for instance. Or you might have met Paul, like I said before, who literally works just across the hall from you. So I think the differentiator for us and what we're focusing on doubling down on is really that employer engagement as much as we can. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's all the time we have. But, uh, Adam, I think if I'm not mistaken, there's a special promotion that you have for Scoop. Of course. That's offered to this audience. Of course we do. So if you guys sign up today, there should be an email coming out, or if there was an email that came out. Um, if you register with SPNT10, um, that's the coupon code or promo code in there, you get 10 bucks into your account that helps out with the few costs as well. Um, I'll be around to answer any questions or anything like that, so uh, please come on to it. Thanks, man. All right, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Scoop.